Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm gonna to show you the Varla Pegasus City Commuter Scooter. I'm gonna tell you exactly why I absolutely love the scooter. Before we get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Hit that thumbs up button and also ring that notification bell for future notifications of my videos. I could also save you some money on your own Varla electric scooter by clicking the affiliate link in the description below. All right, so let's get into it. So if you follow this channel, you know that I had the Varla Eagle One electric scooter, and that's an off-road scooter, and that thing is absolutely amazing but this scooter blows it away in my opinion this is more like a, a city commuter it's a little slower than the varla eagle one but in my opinion i think it goes fast enough the styling is really really sleek so you have the blue and the silver color scheme which just looks really sharp this scooter also has dual motors and each motor on this scooter is 500 watts you have one in the rear and one in the front so they're 500 watts but they peak at 800 watts per motor and this scooter does move the weight capacity of the scooter is 280 pounds i'm just just around that number and this scooter hauls me without any issues i'm telling you this thing is amazing as far as getting up hills and stuff they say it'll climb about a 25 degree angle hill and I believe that claim because there's a lot of big hills around my area and this scooter has no issues with them. All right, you also have the disc brakes as well. One in the rear and one in the front. You've also got dual independent suspension. So as you can see the one in the front right there and also the one in the rear. Now let me tell you this suspension is very nice. It makes the ride very smooth. You don't have to worry about any rough rides as far as little bumps go. You don't want to go off-road with the scooter. That's what the Eagle One is for. And like I said, this is more of a city commuter. You want to stay to the streets, the sidewalks, but uh, but the ride is very smooth on this thing. The weight of the scooter is 66 pounds. And in my opinion, it's very easy to fold this thing up and move it around. It does have an easy folding and locking system here. So you'd basically uh, take this Velcro off, you pop this lever up and uh, pull it down. And then the handlebars would fold down. You've also got this hook here which when you fold down the handlebars it ends up in this little metal loop here all right that's what keeps the scooter locked in the folding position so it's nice and compact and you can use the handlebars as a nice little carrying handle like i said a very very easy and compact scooter to carry around so it's 66 pounds really don't think it's that heavy you've also got the rear fender there with a brake light which is really nice it also blinks to let people know you're stopping also got the front fender as well you've also got this bright headlight in the front so this scooter features a 15.6 amp hour 48 volt battery which they claim is good for 28 plus miles of range i haven't really put that to the test yet but i have been getting about 15 to 16 miles uh, with about 40 percent battery still left on the scooter and again i'm close to 280 pounds so i think their claims are are pretty accurate the top speed of the scooter is 28 plus miles per hour i've got this scooter up to 29 to 30 at times and i think that it's plenty fast especially if you're looking for a commuter scooter you've also got this 4.7 inch lcd smart display so you can easily read your speed how much battery you have left your level of power things like that and uh, you can change the settings as well i'll be doing some videos as far as the settings go in the future you've also got these nice grips here the only thing that worries me is they are very easy to move they move around i tried to tighten this up here honestly i tighten it so much that it starts to strip so i'll be replacing the grips on this scooter so same thing happens over here not so much as the other one you can see that kind of moves it's a little tougher to do on the right hand side you got your rear brake on the left and as you can see the light will blink and you also have the front brake on your right now as far as the throttle goes instead of a twist throttle like the varla eagle one this one comes with your traditional thumb throttle here which i i like i'm not really sure if i like it better than the twist but it's really a personal preference all right so my opinion the best feature of this scooter is the tires so these are solid puncture proof tires they're eight inches and the coolest thing is you don't have to worry about getting a flat or making sure there's air in the tires and i'm just really excited i won't have to worry about changing tires on this scooter and this will be my daily commuter to be honest as far as the scooter goes this is the one that i'm going to pack up put in the truck uh, because i'm very confident in the quality 
and the fact that I don't have to worry about being stranded on the side of the road with a flat. And yes, some people don't like solid tires because the ride is rougher, but with the dual independent suspension on this scooter, it makes up for the fact that it has solid tires. You've also got this kickstand here. So instead of it being in the rear, it's up towards the front of the scooter. You've got some reflectors here, which are nice. And you've also got a 6.7 inch deck, uh, which is plenty of room to put your feet on. I usually rest my rear foot on the back here. Just uh, watch out for this ring in the back. You, you wanna make sure you don't damage it. They do give you an extra one of these just in case you break it. And they also give you a couple extra screws and stuff as well. It also comes with a two amp charger, which does take around seven to eight hours to fully charge the scooter. Now, if you have any questions about the scooter, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. But honestly, I think the scooter is an incredible deal. Compared to the Varla Eagle One, I think it's an all around better scooter, especially for a commuter. And any other videos that you wanna see regarding the scooter, please let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to get those out for you. And uh, until next time, thank you for watching. Peace out.